Hello, YouTubers. Joe Kersey here under the big, god-awful fluorescent light over the desk in the Radisson Blue Hotel in Durham on 3 October 2017 at 18... No, 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 I lied. 2027. Yeah, 20, yeah 2027. British summertime. Um, I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm in a, on, a, on a set, a movie set for Mad Max. On the other hand, if I turn it off, you won't be able to see me. And I turn it off, except I have to go clear over on the other side of the room by this little console of switches by the bed, which I can never understand. But Tony Pincham seems to figure out instantaneously when he goes into a hotel room. So he kind of just. Takes over that side of the bed. Anyway, he sort of runs the lights. Anyway, tonight I'm running the lights and this thing's on so you can see me. Cheers, or God bless us all, depending on your theological point of view and sociological point of view and milieu. <laughs> I have just come back from, well, not just come back. I went to Evensong, uh, well, but before I went to Evensong at 515, I went to the library and filled up my dance card, which uh, I'll show you my dance card. The dance card in question is, uh, it's one of these things that, you know, you, you, you collect the stamp for every, beer and then and then the guy initials it and so my next beer at the library is going to be free free beer free ale free ale more properly anybody can get free beer you know like bud so some guy came some guy came in uh at the market tavern uh, while i was sitting there and he asked for a bud you know give me a bottle of bud I thought, you fucking idiot. But you're asking for a bottle of Budweiser. You know, you know, in, in the country that produces some of the finest ales on earth. Oh, give me a bud. This guy was an educated looking guy, too. It wasn't like he was just sort of you know, sloughing in, you know, shuffling in with, you know, like he'd just come in off the street. Give me a bud. Come on, don't do that to yourself. Have some self-respect. So I I went to the library and had a had a nail, uh, and uh, got my card initial, little dance card initial, and so then I went up to the cathedral for even song, and it was just oh, it's just, it's. It's a sublime, it's just so sublime. It's, I mean, you're surrounded by the Holy Ghost. I mean, the human and divine, I mean, the minute you walk in there, you feel it. And then when you sit in the choir and then they, they sing evening prayer, well, I, I, words, words can't describe it. Words cannot describe it. So I won't attempt to, but I'm, I will say that I had a fine experience. Now, here is a sandwich from the other day called Tesco Smoke Ham and Mustard. Now, I've been carrying this around for a couple of days. Uh, Tony urged me to throw it away. He of the health and safety, this and that. But let's just see how this bad boy tastes. This is my supper, by the way. That's very good. I'll tell you how it comes out in the morning, maybe. Hmm? We'll find out. Part of me talking with my mouth full. Well, it has to keep the flow of the story up, though. Yeah. It's good. But it would be rude for me to keep eating that while I talk to y'all. And while I can be inadvertently rude, I don't like to be deliberately rude. 
which kind of brings me to, oh, no, oh I, got, I, got, I got to be careful how I handle this. Um, it was so delightful when I checked into the hotel today. I, well, I left, I left Tony's at, at 8.45. And I arrived actually in Durham in the parking lot behind the Radisson Blue at, oh gosh, 11.15. It was about an hour, two and a half hours. Maybe a little bit longer than that. I stopped and bought 27 pounds worth of 20 liters of gas. <laughs> just outside, yeah, yeah, just outside Durham. And then, of course, uh, you know, the little happy, clappy, happy, talky, chappy, you know, trippy, perky young woman on the Google Maps function. I guess she she thought that I had really wanted to go off of the original route. And so she sent me in on the A11 on the A177 rather than you know carrying on the A1 and then going down the A690. Oh yeah, fine. I kind of, you know, I had seen that route on the map. I thought, okay. But of course, I you know, having made the left turn down there at the intersection, I then made the left turn that they weren't talking about right after the intersection. And so I then wandered around in Durham for about a half hour on these very narrow, you know, am I going to hit somebody? Am I going to hit somebody's car? Until, sure enough, came right around again. <laughs> Actually, you know, not around again. Uh, back to, you know, sort of like how on the A A690, like I'm heading out of town, and then I realized, oh, that's me heading out of town. Let's just go around, and now I, I'll be able to take the right, you know, the correct bearing, you know, right, instead of really left, just ever so slightly left, which I did, and then, poof, here I am. Hey! <laughs> Sometimes it can be a continual struggle. So, uh, they didn't have any rooms. I mean, I got there really early. I said, I'm massively early. I said, well, we don't have any rooms for a while right now. And I said, fine. I figured as much. So I went up to the Market Tavern. And had, like, I think I just had a beer, a, a pint, maybe two pints, a pint. Maybe, it doesn't matter. And um, <laughs> so... Uh, I clearly didn't make holy. I, did, I clearly didn't make twelve thirty holy communion at the cathedral. I'm going to try to do that tomorrow, but I didn't. I didn't make it today um, because I I I was sort of like in that trembly state because I I I hadn't been able to stop all the way up. I mean, I wanted to stop, but you know, it's like they send you around like, like three roundabouts. This, that, and the other, and then you've got little happy, clappy, chirpy individual on the Google Maps. <laughs> and you just like to reach through that phone and just strangle her to get her to shut up. No such luck. Anyway, so uh, we arrived. By the grace of God, they will see. Oh, and when I say by the grace of God, I really mean by the grace of God because I was almost getting ready to pull out right in front of some guy that would have T-boned me right into the driver's side door. But God stopped me. Thank you, God. Once again, you saved my life. That's happened on a number of occasions. Not just here, but, you know. But particularly here, because, you know, they come around these roundabouts really fast. I mean, you know, you know, the idea of a roundabout in the United States is going to kind of slow you down. No, not here, apparently. 
Anyway, God saved my life. Thank you, God. I appreciate that. I imagine my son might appreciate that, too. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe he's waiting for the inheritance. I don't know. I have places to go, things to do I want to do yet. All right, so let's see. So here I am. So I go to the market tavern, then I come back and I check in the hotel. And uh, that's fine. And uh, I, I took a shower. I took a shower for the first time six days. Now I'm going to try to be really tactful about this because I don't want to sound like I'm bad-mouthing you know, any kind, good, generous people that put me up and you know whose guest I was. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. These people are kind and generous and wonderful and you know, so much just wonderful. Let's let's talk about the first two days of the six days. Well, that was at the hotel in Ripon, which you know had a well, it had a it had, had a it had a, a very complex hot water, you know, one of these dedicated hot watery things that you you know do. Well, I've used those before. The problem is with those with me is. I have also nearly scalded myself and given myself second degree burns before in those th with those things. And what happens is you you adjust them and it sort of looks warm and it sounds like it's it's kind of like staying like it's warm, you know, and it's just about the right temperature you want. You get under it and then about maybe 45 seconds to a minute and a half later, it's like <laughs> I mean this thing this thing turns instantly hot and you you and and, and by that time it's like it's like and, how do you, how do you, so you almost have, so you sometimes have to kind of just flee the, flee the tub. And I, and I, th I thought, I, I don't want to, you know, first of all, well, see, my problem is I couldn't even get the hot water to come out. Um, now, Tony could, that's because he's, he's an Englishman and he's, you know, he's been around these things and he knows how to, you know, tell them to get the fuck working and give me hot water. So I wasn't going to fuck with that. You know, that was day one. I wasn't going to fuck with it on day two. So say it's my fault, you know, you know, blame me, you know, tell me not to piss and moan, you know, get down on me, whatever you want. And the next four days, well, we spent two days at Tony's sister, Sister's place with mother, you know, she, you know, Ann and George. You couldn't ask for two finer human beings on planet Earth than Ann Marsden and George Marsden. You couldn't. You just can't. And God bless them. They live. They live in a very tiny house with very very steep steps. One can. That's okay. One can. That's fine. Cans, cans on the downstairs floor in this house, which is okay. That's fine. I didn't expect them to offer me a towel, and I didn't ask. So, is that my fault? I don't know. That's just, doesn't matter. So then, God bless him. I'm over at Tony's, and, you know, and he says, now we're gonna, I'm going to get you a towel this year. Because last year, you know, it was like nothing. So I'm going to get your towel. He said, and then it was like, you know, you know, sometime tomorrow I'll get your towel. I said, okay. Nothing, nothing. God bless him. I, I know, I know he doesn't mean to do that. I know he doesn't mean to do that. But I'm not going to make an issue of it. Well, I guess I am making an issue of it, aren't I? Yeah, it is when, you, when you've been six days... With your old fucking stinking crotch, you know, with with, with with shit as best as you can clean off of your blowhole, you know, it's just it's just fucking disgusting, and you stink. I stink, you know. I'm sure people didn't like me walking around stinking, but what can I do? What can I do? 
So, so what I got here in Durham, first thing I did was I took off all my clothes and I went into that shower and I had me a really long shower. And I felt like a damn king. And it was great. Let's just say uh, uh, it has to do with the available hotels. You know, maybe maybe the custom in this country is, and I I have heretofore not been aware of that, is that you just go into somebody's bathroom and you take any fucking towel you find hanging around and dry yourself with it. We didn't even do that at home. You know, we had four people sometimes in there at the same time in the morning to get ready to go to school, you know, you know, with one, ba no shower, just a bathtub. And we, you know, and, and you only took that bath once a week. But we each had our own damn town. <laughs> this is strange. I find this guy, I find just, just, just got the attitude like, I may as well just enjoy this, fault, you know, because it's just, you know, it's not a damn thing I do about it, and I'm not going to make an issue of it. I guess maybe I am issue. I'm not, I'm not really trying to make an issue of it, but it's a interesting little social vignette, I think. Well, for me it is, given I've had to wallow around in my own fucking shit and stink for six days. Welcome to the UK, where you can't fucking wash yourself. Sometimes, but sometimes you can't. <laughs> Just, ah, I may have pissed and moaned about this last year. I don't know. I'd have to go back and review my material. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll tell you, I had a great time. Uh, uh, I did, anyway. Um uh, we, we walked along the canal, and I'll put that together here at some point. We went back to the workshop Priory Church where I had, I had a chance to take some proper pictures, although I was, I was, uh, I was kind of shooting on the, on the, on the, on the flash, or the shooting on the, on the, you know, any more now, if I don't, if I don't, if I don't take a still picture at 125th or faster, you know, I'm, my, you know, I mean, my, my shakiness is becoming apparent, so. Still, you know, no pictures are sometimes better than, some pictures are better than no pictures sometimes. No, we'll see. See what I can fetch up and stick together here. And, of course, then last night we had the inimitable, the inimitable collab where <laughs> Tony and I were watching porn, and we were doing kind of like a Mystery 2000 or Mystery Th Theater 3000 thing, where you know, like the little robots, the little talking heads are commenting on porn, which was great fun. Yeah, I mean, none of which was turning me on in the slightest. <laughs> oh, by the way, when I got when I when I did get here to Durham in the hotel room. The first thing I looked at on the on on my computer was porn, which did turn me on in a little bit more than the slightest. Let's put it that way. Good Lord, it's been. I mean, you go, you go days without a heart on. I mean, it's like you know, it's like you're being you know observed all the time. You're observed, you're being observed and controlled all the damn time. Fuck, you know, can't. Can't get a good night's sleep, although, you know, I mean, you try to do your best. I mean, and, you know, it's like, ah, oh, jeez, ah, oh, jeez, 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 jeez. He's a good, he's a wonderful man. He's a wonderful guy to have as a friend. I I, I know I, saw, I sound like I'm bad-mouthing, and I'm not. I'm really not. It's just, we all have personal habits that drive people around us nuts. <laughs> Just yeah, we had we had, you know, we had a couple of spring thunderstorms and some frank discussions during this trip. Let's put it that way. It's all right, yeah, just as well. Yeah. It's not like this. This isn't this isn't some great moral issue. This isn't like you know. Oh, I found out he was a mass murderer or something. I don't know. I might might have 
that might have made him, you know, they still probably would have stayed friends with him if it had been a mass murderer. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Maybe that guy that went up in Las Vegas and did all that shit. Maybe not. I don't know. What an idiot. What do, they, what do these guys do? I mean, just don't, don't, don't go up high and kill people. Here's not it. Don't go down low or anywhere and kill people. And no, it has nothing to do with guns. It has to do with nuts jobs. You know, in a country of 360 million people, out of 360 million people, there's going to be the occasional nut job that does this. So until, until people in the smaller European countries, you know, can, you know, do a sort of a, uh, oh, like... Get over it. This is the United States. We have a constitution. We have the right to own gun. If you're, if you've not, if you know, if, if you can't, if you're not falling in one of the categories where you can't own a gun, you're going to own a gun. Now, if you want to go out and do a dumbass thing with it, like this guy did, but don't, don't, don't restrict the rest of us. I don't. I have guns. I have lots of guns. They're generally locked away, I, you know. But do I like to shoot them when I do shoot them? Yeah. Do I take them out and look at them from time to time? Yeah. Am I going to go up into a tower and kill people with them? No. At least that's not the plan at the present time. Ooh, that's going to get the NSA on my ass. No, I, no. This isn't, this isn't me. Oh, speaking of strange things. So, I, I, you know, was coming back down into the town center there, the market square from Evensong. And uh, having been at the library, I love it. I love a you gotta love a bar named the library. I do. That was the dance card I was referring to earlier. Maybe I didn't talk about that. We'll see. Anyway, here's my here's my empty wine bottle. I've got two more full ones in here, but I don't think I'll be doing all that. I do want to finish my, my sandwiches, but not not I don't want to munch them in your face. So So I went to Evensong. I came out. Oh, so I went to Tesco's to buy more sandwiches. Like, you know, like, like these neat little. Here's a neat one. And this is. Here's a, here's a neat one. Salmon and cucumber. Even I will try to eat that first, you know. Even though I'm not a food Nazi and a health Nazi on food. And here's the third one here. Uh, all very. I mean, Tesco's has some great things. Now, so this was in a Tesco store. So. Uh, the young woman at the till, I love that, I love that, the till. She, uh, you know, she checked me out, and so I presented my, I presented my credit card. I'm not going to show you my number, but I will show you the, the, you know, the front of it, which does not have my number on it. And uh, that was fine, and so it generates this thing. I mean, my Lord, I mean, it's, it's like in this little handheld thing, you know. Okay, fine. And then, you know, spews out all this paper. And so you, I got to sign this thing. So I just, you know, I sign it like I sign it. And, you know, I said, so, psh, you, know, psh. you know, this is like I'm going to go vote. This is like signing the electoral register when I go vote, where you, you try to match the original, you know, computer-generated signature. You know, it's like, Phew. Uh, I don't know, that doesn't really match. You know, she had to look at the back and stared at it for a while. I said, you want me to sign again? She says, yes, would you? And so, Meanwhile, of course, you know, the, the, the pen she's giving me is, is so I finally pull out my pen. You know, and, but because of the, the, the back, you know, the, the crappy paper in this, you know, I couldn't. Yeah. So she says, Stephanie, Stephanie, we need to have a signature check here, check here. And, and I pulled out my passport at that point. And I said, look, I mean, look, you know, see, you know, it's me. I'm not, 
I'm not trying to rip off Tesco's. I'm not trying to steal your sandwiches. Well, you have to check. I said, I understand you have to check. Give me a break. So Stephanie allowed is how I would I could I could have my sandwich. Oh okay. yeah. Uh, and I and I said to her as I was you know cramming this shit into my pocket because they don't give you a bag and I've bought several bags and I forgot to take my bag with me. Um, was oh gee, you you found me out. I was coming over here to the United Kingdom to steal sandwiches from Tesco's. You know, I you know I flew I flew over three thousand miles to steal sandwiches from Tesco's in Durham, England. Well, that didn't. You know, it's like <sighs> zero humor. It's like zero humor. I mean, nothing. I was saying to myself the c word. That ends in oont. Yes, yes, yes. I'm a sexist thug. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, y'all need to go to your safe space now. Well, having said that, then I went back down to uh, the Market Tavern and had uh, two London. Uh, two ales, London something or others. And looked looked around on Grinder. Not not too much luck. I really would like to get laid while I'm here. I really would. I, I think I need I think I deserve it. Well no, we only deserve, you know, food, shelter, clothing. I wonder if that you would add that as like a like a like a three A, you know, food, shelter, clothing, getting away, three A, part three A. <laughs> I'm thinking about um, uh, since people don't understand the Trinity symbol, I'm thinking about getting underneath here, you know, like one God, Father, Son. Holy Ghost, you know, in block caps, but not really big. Uh, and, and, and so the, the bottom part of this would then be about the bottom part equal to the bottom part of this. Any advice on that would be appreciated. And no, Thomas, you're not allowed, you're not allowed to chime in because, you know, I mean, you, you think I'm an idiot to forgetting them anyway. So, you know, your advice... Yeah, I'll listen to your advice, but, you know, I want guys that have tattoos to advise me. Tattoos. The Australian pronunciation. It drives, it drives lives nuts. That drives my neighbor lives nuts when I say tattoos. My tattoos. That's okay. Sometimes people need to be driven nuts from time to time. Well, I think what I'm going to do, my plan of attack for tomorrow is to have breakfast. I may try to do some serious editing in the morning and try to make it up to Holy Communion at 12.30. And then, uh, no, then drink in the afternoon and go to even even song again or evening prayer, depending on which, which service that they do. And uh, you know, I'll be looking on grinders now. So I'm going to say bye-bye, uh, YouTube. My Lord, it's almost a half an hour. That's eh, okay. Hall of Mirrors, Hall of Mirrors and Joe's Glasses. All righty, bye-bye, YouTube.